Welcome back to our channel, thank you for tuning in. My name is Rodney, and today we're going to be making another Harry Potter DIY. Now, I've actually had this idea for quite some time, and if you haven't already guessed, I'm going to be making my version of the Hogwarts Christmas Crackers. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been to the studio tour making a Harry Potter at Hogwarts in the Snow, you'll notice that everything is decorated for the festivities, including the Great Hall, and the long, long tables are decorated with amazing food, and also Hogwarts Christmas Crackers, and I was like, oh my god, these are amazing, I really want to make these. So what's great about this DIY is you can actually make one for each of the different houses, or if you particularly wanted to show house pride, you could just make your house and have all of the crackers with just the one particular house crest on. Don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this DIY and all that you're going to need for that. Also, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click on that button over there to subscribe for more of the same Wizarding World content. Now, let's go on with the DIY, because I cannot wait. <laughs> What you're going to need for this is actually the first thing that actually gave me the idea was coming across fill your own Christmas crackers. Now you can actually make your own Christmas crackers by cutting out the paper and getting the snappers and sticking them all together or having pre-cut ones and also make those. But the ones that I purchased were actually fill your own Christmas crackers so they were already pre-made. The crackers and the hats and the jokes were already inside. I just had to fill them with my own gifts. And then I just changed the ribbon out so I find that's the easiest one so that's the one I went for. And you should buy them in silver and gold because you'll need both for this DIY. So you're going to need things to fill these Christmas crackers with. Now just bear in mind they need to be small enough to fit inside a cracker. But Primark is perfect for this at the moment. There are so much Harry Potter stuff around that's small enough to, that's perfect to fit in these. But other official merchandise will do. And, uh, and also unofficial merchandise if you want to. Just make sure there's Harry Potter because obviously these are Harry Potter Christmas crackers. The things I went for that fit perfectly inside a cracker were Harry Potter Christmas socks that I found from Primark. More Harry Potter spectacles that I found fit just tightly inside one of them. I also rolled up the Platform 9 3 quarters Hogwarts Express ticket, which I thought was a very cute little um, surprise inside a cracker. Also the Golden Snitch keyring, which I found in Sainsbury's for a complete bargain. You'll also need to print out some Hogwarts house crests on some sticky label paper, which will make it far more easier to stick on the Christmas crackers if you print it on the sticky label paper. But if you don't have that, regular paper will do as well. You'll just have to glue the backs of them to stick them onto the Christmas cracker themselves. Again, you can do one of each if you want, or if you wanted to show you just house pride, you can just do your house, which obviously mine's Hufflepuff, but I went for all four. You also need some fabric ribbon to tie the ends with for each of the houses, so black, red, blue, and green. And the reason I went for these colours is these are the actual ribbons that were used on the Christmas crackers at this year at all, so that's why I want to stick exactly to those ones. You also need a pair of scissors to cut around these intricate designs, but also, if you know the Defender charm, you could just use that as well. Please be careful if any younger witches or wizards are doing this. If you're younger, please do ask a parent or guardian to help you with that. So first things first, your fill your own Christmas crackers may come with their own ribbon. So just take those ones off and then replace them with the ribbon that you want. I went for, obviously the gold should have black and the gold should have red. And then the silver should have green and then the silver should have blue for each of the houses. Once you've tied one end of the cracker, and use the other open end to push a little present in. I find that using a wand does actually help to get that gift inside. <laughs> and once that's inside, securely fasten that with the other ribbon and then you've filled out your cracker. Once you've cut out all your crests, peel them off the sticky backing and then place them in the middle of your cracker. Or if you've cut them out, obviously glue the back and then stick them on the same Position. Once you stuck all four house crests onto the crackers, we've come to the end of this DIY and I think they are absolutely beautiful. Now I've actually, I've actually packaged them in a little gift box because I'm going to be giving this as a gift. And I thought it's the perfect gift to give to Harry Potter, crazy Potterhead, because I was like, you can't buy these anywhere. These are handmade and they are filled with Harry Potter amazingness and I can't wait to give it. I'm really excited about that. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up. I'm really happy with them. I think they've come out amazing. And this is just exactly like something you'd find at Hogwarts. And they actually make the perfect gift for any Harry Potter fan. Oh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You can find my last video by clicking on that box over there. And do leave me a comment in the section below if you have any ideas of any Harry Potter DIYs that you'd like me to complete in the future. Leave them in the comment section below along with your Hogwarts house. And also, I'd like to know which of these crackers you're going to make. Are you going to make all four for each of the houses, or are you going to make just your Hogwarts house? 
giving to friends and family that do make the perfect gift. If you're new here, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that button over there. And again, with most things that I do, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.